Hello, welcome to my channel Smart Techie. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the obstacle in chaining and how it is carried out in different cases. So in this lecture, we'll solve numerical based problems on obstacles in chaining. So the first one is a chain line ABC crosses a river at 90 degrees as shown in the figure. So B and C are the two points located at the near and far bank respectively. So the distance of AB, B, BD and angle ABD and angle A dc is given as 90 degrees and even this angle is 90 degree so they have asked us to find the width of the river so what is the width of the river in this figure the chain line is a b and c okay while chaining from point a to b and from b to c while chaining there is an obstacle called river so we need to find the width of the river so that the chaining is carried out so how this width of the river is calculated so based on similar triangles we can calculate the width of the river that is bc so in this case let us assume okay the angle b d c that is b d c to be as theta okay here we have angle a d and C. This total angle is 90 degrees. So we'll just assume angle theta for B, D and C as theta. Okay. So when this angle is theta, okay. So here what will I have? B, D, A. I'll have 90 minus theta okay so just consider this triangle that is a b and d here i have two angles this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees minus theta so the third angle will be theta according to the sum of triangles are 180 degrees so here my angle a t b is nothing but 90 degrees minus theta so next what we'll do we'll consider two triangles okay one triangle is b c d and another triangle is b d a so what all i have considered i have considered b c d so this is b c d for just for reference i'll draw separately b c d okay and one more triangle we'll consider that is b d and a okay so we'll just check whether the angles are similar in in these two triangles so the first angle is d b c and d b a is nothing but 90 degrees so angle b i have 90 degrees here as well as 90 degrees here next is angle b c d and b d a as 90 minus theta okay i have shown here b c d is 90 minus theta because here we have already have 90 degrees so 90 and this is theta so this will be 90 degrees minus theta okay and next angle the third angle we have b d c and b d a as theta okay so these two angles are similar by the property of angles okay since these two triangles are similar we can consider the proportionate of the sides so now i'll consider the proportionate of the side that is bc upon bd is nothing but bd upon b a so what i need to find width of the river is b c so i have to find b c in this case so b d the whole square i cross multiply and this is b a so i have a distance of b d as 100 meters which is already given and also 
BA, the distance is 57.73 meters, which is already given. So when I calculate, I am getting 173.22 meters. So the width of the river BC is nothing but 173.2 meters. Next numerical, a big pond obstructs the chain line AB as shown in the figure. So this is a obstacle to lay a chain from point A to B as shown in the figure. So a line AL okay, was measured on the left of the line AB. So this is the line AB. So this line AL is measured on the left of the line AB and the length of the line AL is 901 meters. So similarly the line AM okay was measured on the right of the line AB whose length was 100, 1100 meters. So points M, B and L are in the same straight line. So the length of the links that is the measurement of BL and BM is 502 meters and 548 meters respectively. So find the distance A to B. So here we cannot lay the chain on AB. Okay. So we have laid the chain AL, AM okay, and BL and BM and measure the distances. So we know all these distances measured. And now we can apply a trigonometrical equation to find the length of AB. So how it is carried out? So what we'll do? Let will consider angle AML. So this AML angle will consider as alpha. Okay, we'll assume it as alpha okay so now we have all three sides so we can find the angle alpha by you have this cos theta formula cos theta is equal to b square plus c square minus a square upon 2 bc so here we know cos alpha and we know can find the value of alpha so cos alpha is nothing but a m the whole square plus m l the whole square minus a l the whole square upon 2 into a m okay into m l so when we substitute these distances in this equation we get 1100 the whole square plus so what we'll do ml the whole square ml is nothing but 502 plus 548 that is nothing but 1050 meters okay so we are just substituting the values in this equation and minus 901 meters the whole square divided by 2 into 1100 okay into 1050 so when we calculate the angle alpha is 0 0.6497 okay Next, now we'll consider a triangle B, M, A. So when we consider this triangle B, M, A, okay, this is B, this is M and this is A. So you know this distance, you know this distance and you know this angle. So the remaining is the distance A, B which has to be calculated. So in triangle a M B okay we can say that cos alpha is equal to A M 
the whole square plus mb the whole square minus ab the whole square and divided by 2 am and mb so what will i do i subs i'll substitute the so here i'll substitute the values to find the distance ab okay so here i have cos alpha as 0 0.6497 which we calculated just now and then i'll substitute this distances which is measured on the field okay and ab the whole square and here i have 2 into 1100 into 548 okay so here i have ab the whole square is equal to 1100 the whole square plus 548 the whole square okay so minus when i cross multiply what will i have this equation and cross multiply with this so i'll have 2 into 0 0 into 548 into 0 0.6497 okay so by calculation my ab distance is 852.66 meters okay so the distance of chain h from point a to b is nothing but 852.66 meters so next numerical a survey line abc crossing a river at right angles okay a b c it crosses a river at right angle so this angle will be 90 degrees right angle okay as shown in the figure to determine the width of the river so which is the width of the river here c b is nothing but the width of the river so the following operations were carried out a 60 meter long line b e was set up parallel to the river b e this line of 60 meters was set to the parallel of the river okay and line c e was extended to d and the midpoint f of b and d was established then e f was equal to f g okay line d line d g was extended to cut the survey line at a b c at h okay so h d was equal to b e that this is 60 meters so even b e was 60 meters so g h and h b was found to be 40 meters and 80 meters respectively so find the width of the river that is nothing but what is the width of the river width of the river is b c so here we'll consider two triangles okay one is c okay b c b and e we'll consider c b and e as one triangle another one we'll consider as c okay h c h and d so one is the bigger triangle and one is the smaller triangle so we are considering these two triangles so in these two triangles we have c b e that is angle c b e is equal to angle c h d that is nothing but 90 degrees angle b and angle h is 90 degrees so next angle is e c b is equal to d c h okay 
this is same angle okay so angle c and angle c is same so when we have 90 degrees and this same angle so the third angle also will be equal okay so these triangles are similar by properties of angles okay so when these two triangles are similar we can take the proportionate of the sides so we consider cb okay upon ch this side and this side okay is equal to be upon hd so what we we need we need to find cb okay so CB, so CB and what is CH? CH is nothing but CB plus BA, okay? It's nothing but CB plus BA is equal to BA is how much? BA is 60 meters upon 100 meters, okay? So, with this equation, we get CP is equal to 0.6 CB, okay? This is 0.6, okay? Then we'll cross multiply CB plus 80 into 0.6. So, here I have 0.4. CB is equal to 80 into 0.6. So CB is nothing but 80 into 0.6. Okay. Upon 0.4 that gives you 120 meters. So the distance of CB is nothing but 120 meters. So this distance is 120 meters that is the width of the river.